Well, as we said before, the woke SJW Disney flops seem to be endless and repeatedly in a row. I mean, just flop after flop after flop. Showing the fact that, because a lot of these, th these films that flop, almost all of them have some kind of woke SJW ideology slipped into them. Showing that go woke, go broke is more than just simply a vain, empty phrase. It is just the blunt and brutal reality that the blue-haired, feministic, SJW, lesbian weirdos on the internet seem to refuse to acknowledge. So, this is just another addition to that long, ever-increasing list. This is uh, their film called Elemental. It says here on the Washington Examiner, Pixar's Elemental flops in the box office debut with Disney's first non-binary character. Wow, you know, what an achievement. Because every, you know, the definition of insanity is every time is doing the same thing, expecting different results. Every time they slip these types of uh, SJW types of themes into their films, it flops. But they're going to keep they keep doing it, and then they're wondering why they're losing money. It says in the article, Disney's uh, sorry, uh, Pixar, which is owned by Disney, newest film Elemental, which feature, features Disney's first non-binary character, flops. In its opening weekend at the box office, the film grossed a mere $29.5 million, making it the worst um, start for a Pixar film since Toy Story in 1995. Continuing on, Elemental is an animated film that contains, uh, that sort of that details the adventure of how opposites attract. Critics have noted it addresses racism and xenophobia, and with particular CGI animation, sorry, with spectacular CGI animation, the film's protagonists. Embar Lumen, a fire element, is voiced by Leah Lewis, and Wide Ripple, a water element, voiced by Mama Odu Athai, probably not saying the name right, explores efforts to save Ember's family. Family store, uh, Wade's younger sibling, Lake, who is voiced by Ava Hauser, is the film's non binary character. It says, quote, although they aren't major, uh, a major protagonist in the story, their presence is a major win for the non-binary represent, representation LGBTQ advocate site Pink News said of Lake Gender's identity. Sorry, of Lake's gender, gender identity. Rotten Tomatoes gave the critic, uh, sorry, Rotten Tomatoes top critics gave Elemental a 64% rating. Yeah, it's bought and paid for a lot of times. Uh, depending on where it falls, it could be the lowest earning opening weekend Pixar has had since Toy Story. It's Toy Story is 29 million. Uh, take of 1995, and that's when ticket prices were a lot lower too, by the way. Another film uh, review stated, even though Toy Story's box office take has not been adjusted for inflation, making Elemental uh, Elemental's box office figures even more disappointing, Elemental reportedly cost $200 million to make, and another $100 million to market. So just to break even, you're looking at somewhere around $300-$400 million. That's just to break even, let alone to actually make a profit. But you get, again, a lot. What, what's the common theme? A lot of these films have some kind of woke SJW ideology. In this case, you have a non-binary, uh, whatever that even means. I guess it's like, what? What do you like? You don't identify as like any binary. I mean, it's it's weird. They, all these letters they have in the LGBT community. But of course, all these films have one thing in common. I mean, Strange World. I mean, they had openly homosexual themes. They had Lightyear, a gay kissing, uh, Star Wars, Rise of Skywalker. It made money, but it was hated by a lot of people. Uh, like, what else? I mean, you've got Indiana Jones 5, feminist themes all through the thing. I mean, just every time they do this, it fails and is hated by a lot of people. Hated by the critics, fails in the box office, you know? But then they keep doing it, and then they're wondering why they're losing money. Well, it's blatantly obvious. You know, you're inserting the stuff that families... See, families would go to Disney World and watch Disney films to escape the insanity of American politics. So when you start bringing that in, well, you're going to lose your audience. Plain and simple. And this is just yet another example of that. So I wanted to show you guys that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.